welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and search for the data prep and in this video i'm going to show you the easiest way to complete complete this lab okay so if you just like the way i solve this lab please like the video and comment down below if this video is helpful for you or not so that according to youtube algorithm the video will be promoted by them and many people can watch the video okay so just click on allow and just wait for all these things to be established and then we are good to go click on allow click choose your student id click on allow again click on this checkbox click on accept now just we are one step behind simply click on continue now please pay attention guys first of all just copy the name of the lab then go to the, my telegram channel the link is in description box go there and in search bar search for the name of the lab okay just search for the name of the lab you will get one file over there just save or download this file to your system okay now click on this flow icon then click on this import flow from here choose file and choose that file okay now simply click on open and it will be done in seconds so it's done click on close and the file is been uploaded so just click on that now what you have to do copy your project id right click on this data set and click on this edit parameters okay now here just change this project id with your project id and simply click on update matches then click on update okay so we have changed one now click on this data set right click over here click on this replace with data set with parameter click on that again replace the project id okay like this and simply click on update matches and click on click on replace so you have done with two now what you have to do click on this output okay click on this output okay and just double click over there and click on this edit option then click on this big query and here again paste your project id simply click on go then click on this data prep and simply click on create new table now just choose the create a new table every run click on that and simply click on update you are done with all the task number one and task number six okay so now for the task number three what we have to do now it will take around eight to nine minutes sometimes it take more than that so please please be patient you don't have to do all these steps okay now for the task number three click on this data set with parameters then click on this recipe now please pay attention guys okay just wait for to load the data okay so it's loaded now let me just uh, zoom in here you can see these are the dotted lines okay so if you just scroll up above the uh, point number one here you can see one dotted line okay so just click over here and here you can see this is a blue dot okay so now just what you have to do once you done with this simply click on this initial data then click on this got it and then simply click on this last second option and from here in column field choose routes and click on collect okay now it will take around 6 to 10 minutes sometimes it take more than that and it sometimes uh, it take uh, 6 to 8 minutes so if you want just click on this and it will take couple of minutes so be please be patient and you are done with the lab you don't have to do anything you don't need to do all this stuff it's already created for you so just be patient and wait for this task to be completed okay
so as you can see it took around couple of uh, five to six minutes for me now simply click on load okay so we are done with the task number three also now just simply click on flow so just check that is our data flow is properly loaded or not so if you just simply click on this output from here you can get get update so now this thing is still in process so just wait for a couple of minutes again and if you just check the score for task number one you will get a score then if you just check the score for task number three you will get a score okay so sometimes what happen task number three take time or sometimes task number six take time so just you can from here you can just cross verify if this still is still progress so task six will not give a score because and if you just come over here and check on here so here you can see the data is loaded so that's why we got a score on the task number three okay so now just wait for a couple of minutes and we are done with the task number six also just come over here and click on this output and from here you can just take update so here you can see the job is also completed so if i just check the score for task number six i will get a score without any issue so that's the way we have to complete this lab and i hope you guys like the way i solve this video because we have to just do minimal changes and we are done with the lab okay so the video is helpful for you please like the video comment down below so that according to uh, youtube algorithm the video will be promoted and other uh, viewers can check out this video and they can complete the lab without doing all the hard work so thanks for watching guys and have a good day